Hi guys, Alex here, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super video, and today we are going to be discussing what would have happened if Majin Buu took part in the Universe 6 vs Universe 7 tournament. Honestly, I think it would have gone down completely different, so obviously we know that Goku went first, and then he lost to Frost because Frost actually cheated, and then Piccolo would have gone next, okay? And then I think after Piccolo, Majin Buu would have fought, okay? There are so many possibilities here. Um, well, obviously we know that he has his regeneration ability, he can turn people into candy, he can do crazy things with them. Obviously, I'm pretty sure he would be disqualified if he did turn him into candy, but you have to, like, Majin Buu, it, Majin Buu is pretty damn powerful, he has some insane abilities. And I literally just thought of this, but what if he can actually copy Hit's time leap ability? Because he literally learned the Kamehameha in seconds, he learned, like, so many different techniques, like, without, by just seeing them once, obviously Vegeta's. One of Vegeta's moves, which Goku actually states that um, we actually copied, and he's only seen it. What he probably only saw it once, which he did. Um, Goku's coming out of Mehar, so he, he could definitely like. I, I reckon he's definitely capable of copying Hit's time leap ability, which would be insane. But so, um, so let's say it went the same way it did. Goku beats Batama, loses to Frost. Obviously, Fro um, Piccolo then loses to Frost as well. Um, it's actually very interesting. Would um, Piccolo actually give up his go so that Majin Buu would fight. I don't think he would, okay. I think Piccolo would go ahead and fight. Um, the outcome of that battle, it would be very interesting to see. I reckon Piccolo would have ended up winning in the end. Um, and then he would end up losing to Megeta. And then we have... Oh, here we go. Then we have, of course, Buu versus Megeta. Very interesting. They're both fat blobs. <laughs> um, okay. Wait, Boo would probably insult him. Boo would definitely insult him, which would be hilarious. I mean, that annoying voice. Like, that really annoying voice. Um, so, I think um, Boo would actually end up beating Megeta. Um, obviously, Megeta's, like, um, lava spit wouldn't actually have... Well, he wouldn't have much wouldn't have much of an effect on YGP's body, obviously. Uh, he may, like, turn into, like, pieces or whatever, or may cover his entire body, but he would just end up regenerating anyway. So, I think Majin Buu would end up, um, winning that battle. He could just easily toss him out of the ring, because he can, like, manipulate his body in so many ways, it's just ridiculous. And, then we have Kaba, or Kabe, versus Majin Buu. I think Buu would win this one. I don't think that, uh, Kid, Kid Buu, I don't think that Majin Buu would push Kabe to the point where he transform into a Super Saiyan. Um, I mean, I guess Margin Boo might toy with him, but at the same time, I think he, it's hard to say really because we don't actually know how powerful Universe Six members are. We just know that they are very powerful, and we don't even know if Boo actually grew in strength because he doesn't do any training, from what we know. So maybe he just has a set power level like the whole time, or maybe he gets more power from eating uh, candy or whatever. We know that he gets more powerful when he does absorb people, but um, as far as we are aware, he hasn't absorbed anyone <laughs> as of late. So he definitely could have like absorbed Monarch or something. That would have been pretty hilarious, even though that wouldn't even uh, that wouldn't have given him a major boost. Maybe that would have given given him nipples. Can you imagine that? That would have been hilarious. Um, so, um, Kabe versus Majin Buu. I think Majin Buu would have won that as well. And then, Hit versus... Okay, this is actually very interesting. Okay. Hit versus Majin Buu. Okay. I think Buu would lose this one, okay? Just because Hit is just, like, his time ability is just crazy. And he could just toss uh, Buu out of the ring, okay? And then... Obviously, this gives Vegeta time to actually learn about the time skip technique, which is how Goku also learned it. Because obviously, um, he obviously learned it from Jacko, but he was also analysing Go um, Heat's movement and like, reactions and stuff like that. So that gave Vegeta and Goku time to actually look at it. And then Vegeta would have actually had a better chance against Hit. I still think he would have lost. But the only reason is because he's obviously not capable of access accessing the Kaioken like Goku can. And obviously if you've seen the episode preview, you will know that the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken didn't actually beat Hit. So that just shows you that Vegeta didn't, much, didn't have much of a chance anyway, unfortunately. Granted, he would have lasted longer, but he probably would have ended up losing the fight just because he wasn't strong enough to actually beat Hit. Um, 
I reckon he would have done as well as Goku up to the point where Goku, um, where he increased, increased his um, time skip, time skip, I can't, I can't even speak English, um, time skip ability to 0 0.5 seconds. So, wow, I think that Majin Buu would have actually taken care of a lot of the, um, well, a few of the Universe 7, um, Universe 6 fighters. Definitely would have made it, um, would definitely would have given a better chance for Vegeta and Goku to take care of um, Hit. Like, just, actually, just think about it. If Vegeta was doing as well as Goku was before he turned, before Hit increases time skip ability, so if he did that much damage to Hit and then the Goku came along, did that much damage as well, and then he's a su uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kai Kane, I think Goku would have finished him off like that, to be honest. But so Margin B could have actually been the trump card there and could have actually helped them win. And I've, is he still sleeping? I don't, we don't even know what's going on with him. Maybe he's the person that enters the ring uh, next episode. If he didn't already know that, spoiler alert, <laughs> Jesus. Um, so yeah, um, let me know down below. What do you think? Do you think Margin B would have put up a good fight, or like, how do you think it would have gone down? Definitely leave your opinions down below. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like for more content. And I'll speak to you guys in the next one.